the Super Hornet. It's extremely reliable. I'm very confident. I know it's going to do what I ask it to do. First of all, the thing can work its tail off. It is an absolute workhorse. It's incredible wealth of mission capabilities. It makes it uh, very usable in really any theater. It's got a lot of systems that allow us to see what's going on around us and it feeds that information to us so that we can make our own decisions inside the cockpit. I'd say the number one thing that sets the Super Hornet apart from really any other platform is its uh, controllability. You can fly the thing in almost any regime of flight and uh, it's, it's really easy to manage. It'll get you out of a jam if you need to. Uh, specifically if you're one-on-one -on -one fighting in a close arena. We call dog fights, you know, a knife fight in a telephone booth. So being able to have that, that one extra maneuver that the other guy can't do could be the difference. The heads-up display is obviously the tool of choice that, that makes it a lot easier. When I want to put it in a certain piece of sky or turn it in a certain way, I don't have to look down into the cockpit taking my eyes off of what's going on around me to do it. I have buttons that right at my fingertips ready to go, and I know exactly what it's going to give me when I move the stick or the throttles, which is really cool. Not only is it extremely capable in the air-to-surface arena, but it's also extremely capable in the air-to-air -air arena as well. Uh, competitive with uh, the highest threat aircraft that are out there uh, in any of our potential adversaries. For a combat environment, we can turn these jets back around in the combat really quickly. That's the top piece is the fact that it's so durable. And then the other piece is its reliability. You know, when I'm out in combat, very rarely do I experience any type of system emergency that has me come back home.